Namaskar dear all. Today in the clinical tips section, we will be discussing how to check the tooth preparation for crown or FPD. If you want to see the step-by-step -step preparation or the principles of the tooth preparation, there are other videos. But in this, we will be only discussing the five checkpoints that we will see in the tooth preparation before going for the final impression. Checkpoint number one. The most important that is the labial reduction the labial reduction should be sufficient okay if it is not sufficient then what will happen it will lead to over contoured crown so it will lead to bad aesthetics and it will not be acceptable by the patient how to check that we have done it we will compare it with the adjacent tooth this is the golden rule just See from the sideways and then compare it with the adjacent tooth that it can incorporate the crown that we are planning for. Checkpoint number two, the occlusal clearance. Before going for the clearance, just remember that the preparation will be the miniature of the pre-existing tooth. Don't make it flat. If the existing tooth has cusp, the preparation will also have the cuspal contour. And second is the clearance with the opposing tooth. Okay, if there is no clearance, what will happen? The crown will either be over contoured, that will be high, or it will be thin, so that will lead to the breakage of the crown or perforation. Now, how to check the occlusal clearance? You know, many things are available, occlusal indicator bag, some prep guides, but the best method is take a piece, take two thick sheet of thickness of modeling wax wrap it in articulating paper okay insert in the patient's mouth and then take it out the marks that will be present on the preparation okay that will show the high points just reduce them or you can just see the thickness of the wax that you have obtained that will also guide you for the occlusal clearance checkpoint number three proximal reduction you know the contact should always be broken so that the, the contact which we will obtain in the crown okay it will have a harmonious contact with the adjacent tooth now how to check the proximal reduction very simple way take a probe straight probe is preferable it should pass through the proximal area that means we have broken the contact checkpoint number four margin very important because it is the junction of the artificial crown with the natural crown two things are important in margin first is the level and second is the design in the level if we are going for the posterior tooth preparation we should give supra gingival margin because it will be easily cleansable by the patient and it is very easy to prepare also second for the interior tooth we will give a sub gingival margin if we want to hide the margin okay and second we are we can give equigingival margin also coming to the design of the margin if we are going for a porcelain fused to metal crown with full ceramic veneer you know on lingual side also we are planning to give ceramic that most commonly we are giving we will prepare a shoulder throughout no wing preparation required and shoulder margin can be given with a flat end tapered burr okay second is the for all ceramic again we will give shoulder throughout and it can be given by a flat end taper diamond point third is for the all metal crown we are planning to give chamfer we can use either torpedo or we can use round and tapered diamond point checkpoint number five to see for the undercuts there should be no undercuts in the tooth preparation okay no undercuts means you have achieved a uniform taper now how to check for the undercuts either you can directly view which is a bit difficult or we can use a mouth mirror with one eye at 30 centimeter distance when we are seeing the preparation all the margins should be seen okay now for the bridge we can use the same technique but the angulation of the mirror will remain same okay we are viewing the one abutment then we are seeing the other abutment 
or in a simple way we can use a large mirror to see the preparation for a bridge. Now once you have checked all the five points you are ready for making the final impressions. I'm pretty sure this video will really help you in your clinical practice. So please like and share this video. You can also give your topics in the comment section. Wish you success.